Hello, I'm Mr. Anderson, and welcome to my Let's Play of Nine Hours, Nine Persons, Nine Doors. Now, I have played this game uh, once before on the DS when it first came out. Um, I couldn't say I was a huge fan. I got a really crappy ending. And yes, this game has multiple endings. There's about six, so you'd expect nine, since it's 999, but it's not 9999. However, yes, there's six endings. Uh, I was killed in a dark corner. Now, there's very specific things you have to do in order to get the true ending. Uh, first, you have to get a what's called the safe ending by doing a very particular set of things, and then you have to replay the game in another specific order. Um, the game has a lot of uh, number puzzles and with the doors in order, in order to get through them. Um, I'm not very good with number puzzles, but this is a visual novel. Uh, that being said, let's go into the options and see what's going on. Alright, so we can either choose for Japanese or English. Uh, it does not matter um, because I'm not going to be using the voices anyway. I like to read. And what's the point of reading if someone's reading for you? I think we'll just keep everything else on. Back. I know you might be a little upset because you won't be able to hear the, um, you know, voice acting, but <laughs> English voice acting on these games aren't very, usually aren't very good. And um, the Japanese ones, unless you're Japanese or know how to speak Japanese, it doesn't really matter. But anyway, on with the show. Let's make sure I'm actually recording. Uh, yes, I just want to make sure I'm moving these windows so I can see how long I've been recording for, and let's start. You'll be starting from the beginning of the game. Please select a save slot. Okay. okay. Are you sure you want to save here? Uh, yeah. Oh, look, it looks like the little Mario Brothers blocks. Do -do 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 -do. This game is fiction. All names, characters, and incidents... Ah. There are two modes of play, novel and adventure. You move too fast! This is a mouse and keyboard compatible game, but I'll shut the hell up for now. I'm on a boat. Hopefully we're not on the t Titanic. Someone's vaping really hard around that model ship. I think something exploded. What the heck? A loud noise startled Junpai awake, and his eyes snapped open. What? What the? As they adjusted to the light, he realized Ow! Yeah, dude, you just fucking startled me. With a crack, Junpai's head connected with something metal. He rolled over and threw out his hand to steady himself. But he found himself groping at empty air. Whoa! whoa. His balance lost and his still fuzzy mind struggling to understand what was going on, Junpei tumbled down to the cold, gray floor. This is a very reedy game. Ouch, god damn it! God, what the hell? Uh, the pros and cons of sleeping on the top bunk. A bed. I fell pretty far. <sighs> that really hurt. Damn, my eyesight's kind of blurry. Must have hit my head. No, wait. That's not it. An earthquake? But it's shaking too fast for that. Anyway... Yeah. Diarrhea. It's like a storm raging inside you. Where? This game is very escape room-ish. Am I? On a boat! <laughs> Wait, it stopped. If the boat's a rockin', don't come a-knockin'. What's that sound? I'm getting a lot of mist vibes from this. Hmm, sorry, I have to clear my nose. That's... Five. Ah, 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 ah. With some weird device. What's this five mean? It feels nice to play this with a mouse and keyboard. 
it won't open. What's this? Is this keeping the door shut? Hey, hello! Is anyone there? Open the door. Huh? What the hell is this? Oh, it's a really nice watch. Hmm, it doesn't look like one. Um, yeah, it does. Five. That's the same as the door. Wow, how do I take this off? I wish I had a watch made like this. Most of my watches break. From the latch coming apart. Maybe pushing something on this will work. Or maybe it'll explode your head. Nothing. Damn. I guess I'll have to force it off. No good. This stupid thing won't come off. What the hell is the deal with this thing? What's the deal with these watches? Where am I? And why the hell am I here? Why? What the hell happened to me? My head. Oh, this is... Hold on. Am I on a ship? I can't see anything. If only it wasn't so dark outside. Man, you're so ugly, it, you broke the mirror. What the? You gotta be kidding me. What the hell is going on here? <laughs> Did I do that? What the hell? God damn it. Hello, is anyone there? Come on. If you're there, say something. It's it's not stopping. Not good. Not good at all. I need to find a way out fast. Oh, action. Seek a way out. Yes, there is some point-and-click elements to this. Okay. All right, back. Oh, okay, so I can look. Do operations during an escape. During an escape, you're restricted to an area. <laughs> Your goal? Search around to uncover how to unlock the door. There are items and hints in the room that will help you escape. Click on the location you find suspicious to search the room. Use Q and E to move around the room. Okay. About items. Once you've obtained an item, you'll be able to go to the item screen. Clicking item on the top left will take you to the item screen. Note from Bullington Board. Alright, so red square, blank square, blue square, blank blue square, and an arrow facing it that away. Oh, cool. You can actually look at it. It's a little wonky, but hey. It looks like a really sad turtle. Alright, cool. This the notes got in red and in blue. Okay, I don't know what that hasn't been do. The item visible in the lower left is the item currently in hand. When you close the item screen, the last selected item will be in your hand. If you hold an item while investigating the room, you may trigger a reaction. Try switching out items in hand and search different places. Click the item on icon or V to quickly change between items. Wow! They actually did a really good job. I wish it was Q, W, and V, but it's Q, E, and V. Not bad. Picture frame. Um, it's a really low-res photo of it. An old picture frame. There's a picture of a ship in it. There are screws keeping the back on. Ah! Oh! Okay. Doesn't seem like there's anything hidden in the sink. This is the only drain in this room. Quick, unplug it. There's a towel next to the sink. Maybe if we use it, we can just, you know... What's this? A bulletin board. There's nothing on it. Uh, it looks like there's something on it. So, let's, uh, let's move around. This is the middle bunk. This is, as far as I can tell, a pole that is attached to the bed. Um, can we move? Map. So, we are staring at that. Can we stare over in another direction? It's not letting me move. A bulletin board. There's nothing on it. Oh, okay. Um, can I move? Oh, okay. I clicked that. Ah, ha, ha, ha. The water just keeps pouring through the window. I wonder if this is timed. It's like a waterfall. I don't think shoving something in the window is going to stop the water. 
In other words, if I don't want to die, I need to find a way out of this room. I have to figure this out. Okay. So what's in this? This looks important. No dice. It's locked tight. Well, let's see if there's anything in the keyhole. Ah. Uh, poo. It's a small keyhole. If I want to open the briefcase, I need to fill it up with a key. The number on the dial is 0101. I guess I need to input the key in the, the keyhole before I can enter any numbers on the dial. Wow, that sucks. How about the kettle? Is there anything anything in here? Ah, well, looks like it's my lucky day. A key. A key. Yeah, there's a little blue key. There's a little blue spot in the pot today. How odd. The, the key's pretty small. This key, definitely not for a tour. I think I know the, sol the solution to this. What's it for then? This key's blue. It's supposed to open something else blue? Hmm. Nothing in here. It's an old stove. All right, well, let's see if we can open this thing now. Let's see if ha what happens if I put this if I put this blue key in the hall and nothing. I guess I'm going to need some sort of code for the dial. Mini games. During escape, your investigation may track one of several mini games. All operations for mini games are done by clicking the screen. Some mini games will require you to manipulate something while others will only require you to apply the right object or click the right thing. Operation instructions. Clicking the dial will cause it to move to the next number. Enter four numbers in this way and then click the key. If the numbers are correct, it will unlock. All right, let's see. I think it might be three because triangles have three sides and there is no zeros. Ah. No, okay. So, um, I have something wrong here. Back. Damn it. Open, you stupid thing. I don't think it's going to open if I whack it on the wall a couple of times. It might make me feel better. Not going to help, though. All right, Jun Junpei, don't freak out. Keep cool and look around for some more clues. I have a feeling for some reason. Because it's left to right. Hmm, so, wait a minute. One, two, uh, hmm. Don't know. Anyway. Is there anything else here? I can keep looking till that tells him. Uh, damn it! Isn't there anything else I can use? Um, is there anything behind here? Ah, nice! Wait. Are there some hangers on the pole? It's just like the blue brute case. Yep, there's a lock on this one too, and it's not opening. Wait. That's weird. Um, two squares, okay. Uh, I'm not really good at um, figuring these things out, but whatever. Um, what's this? Ah, a red key and a mirror. A small red key. A small red key. Okay. A Kagi. I should probably put on, hold on to these keys. What's up with my face? I look like a zombie. Man, what the hell happened to me? How did I end up here? I left work, headed back to my apartment, and... And... I don't think this is the time to be rec uh, recollecting. I'm back. Not like anyone will respond. Man, work was rough today. And your window is open. Huh? A breeze? Hmm, that's weird. Did I leave that open? Hmm, everything looks okay. I must have forgotten to close it. What? Who are... are... I can't. Mm, rape drug. If anyone can tell me um, what movie that's from, 10 points. 
Consider this a privilege. You have been chosen. You're going to participate in a game. The nonary game. It is a game where you will put your life on the line. That's right. The guy with the gas mask. That son of a bitch. I don't think it was a guy. I think I know who it is. That son of a bitch must have taken me here. When I get my hands on him, well, I guess there's no way to know if, it, if that was a man or not. Sort of looks like a woman if you look at the shoulders, too. Just who was that? And look, look at the height. I know they're... I know the person's a little bit farther behind, but you could sort of guess the heights. They're either the same size or a little bit shorter. And her, like I said, her shoulders are way too, uh, they're not broad enough to be a man. They said you've been chosen. What the hell is going on? Why me? You're going to participate in a game, the nonary game. It is a game where you will put your life on the line. Yeah, I know, we got it. The nonary game, huh? What the hell is a nonary game? God damn it! Yeah, uh, let's let's keep moving instead of you know sitting here uh, looking at shit. That's not gonna help us. Um. Okay, so I have a feeling that I am missing something, but let's use the key anyway. They're both. They're all at zero one zero one not opening. In fact, it's not doing anything at all. Well, alright, I take that back. I guess I can move the dial now. So it looks like I'm going to have to put input the right numbers, and then turn the key. Do I do that, this thing's gonna should pop right open. Let's give it a shot. So let's try 3131. Three, one. Hmm. How, oh, this one has zeros. Zero. Well, it's already on zero. Ah, poopy. No. Okay, so this one only has... So this one only has five digits. One, two, three, four, five. So this one only has five digits. So, um... Yeah. Alright. It's not opening. What am I gonna do? If I'm just standing around, the water's still rising. There's no point to just guessing Ramley. I need to find some sort of hint. I think I know the hint. Has something to do with this. Which I don't understand, to be honest with you. There's no... Got triangles in red and triangles in blue. Hmm. If I can find a screwdriver, maybe I can get some help here. Maybe there's a screwdriver in there somewhere? Some hangers on the pole. Can I use the pole? It's a closet. Am I missing something? I can't see the bottom of the ladder. I'm, oh man, the water is already at the bottom of the bed. I gotta hurry this up. There's a pipe. There's nothing up on top middle of the bunk. There's nothing useful here. There's a blue briefcase on the bed. Yeah, I got that. Um, how about this? I guess there's a lever, huh? Maybe if I pull it. Nope. Well, it looks like pulling the lever just makes a weird noise. Great. The light's still red and the display hasn't changed. Damn it. Why the hell isn't this thing opening? Well, maybe it's because it requires some kind of, like, you know, passcode or something. Well, can't reach this bunk. Might as well look through it. Huh? Darn. Nothing here. Memo from the bed. Eh? Huh? Has something to do with the briefcases. I know it. The notes got... ...in blue and triangles in red. There's an arrow that goes all the way across the paper. It's red under it's red under the red symbols and blue under the blue ones. So wait. All right, so maybe it's saying three, four, three, 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 four, three, three. Oh. Let's try that in the red one.
All right, let's give it another shot. Did I? All right, wait, let me look at the item again. So, three? Hmm. So, obviously these are numbers, but I really don't understand what they're meaning from it here. Oh, combine, can we combine? Hmm. I don't know here. So four? I'm really bad at this, man. So, so let's try, uh, I don't know. Hmm. I'm really bad at these games, guys. Sorry about that. So four, three. So this is obviously the red. So what if we do uh, three, zero, four, zero. Three, zero, four, zero. Three, zero, four, zero. Let's go, let's go over here. Okay. I have no clue. Am I supposed to be able to do something here? I have no clue here. Um, I'm, I'm going off the fact that it probably means like... What if... Hmm. All right, so let's let's try to figure this out. So let's reset everything. So we have one, two, fucking a. I have no clue. Uh, what is that? Mean? Time to give this another shot. I wish we can look at the paper as we go. So what does this have? So this goes up to nine. This goes up to five. This goes up to nine. And that goes up to five. So maybe it's saying all the way up to the top. So let's let's look at the item here. If, do I have the right I mean if, do I have the right numbers? I mean maybe I don't. Like, maybe I'm thinking too hard about this here. The sink is a piece of junk. Well, I won't be draining any water here. There's nothing on the top shelf. Sink, okay. Wow, this game's kicking my ass. I should have lo looked up a walkthrough for this, just in case. Yeah, that's right. That's gonna that's gonna work. All I can see from here is underside of the top bunk. It's pretty high up there. Hmm. Maybe I have to go over here, back, and then can I get up here? There's some pipes. There's nothing left on the mirror. Okay, so that doesn't work. Uh, hmm. There's this door to the stove. Well, it opens easy enough. Sure wish this this door would get out. Get. Sure wish the door to get out up here was that easy. Oh my goodness. Duh. 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 Well, this screwdriver got those screws off easily enough, and here's the picture. <laughs> of course, I needed a primer. 
All right, so a filled square is, let's see here. Do I have a pen? No, I don't have a pen with me. So it's um, a filled blue square at six. A blank square is three. So six, three, six, three. Six, three, zero, two. Six, three, zero, two. Six, three, zero, two. Six, three, zero, two. Okay, yeah. I'm trying to remember something. Six, three, zero, two. I thought maybe I could figure it out. Nice. Three, zero, two. Ah, blue, blue. Hey, have I got anything blue? Where there was that note with the red and blue symbols. Maybe the blue symbols are some kind of hint. Oh yeah, there was something written on the back. Yeah, I get it, yeah. Items. Or right, maybe I have the, the order wrong. So, 6302. So maybe it's actually... This way. So maybe it's... Um, zero... Two, zero two, six three. Maybe zero two six three. All right. Yeah, I got it. All right. Let's see if these numbers work. I turn on the key, and hey, looks like it's working. Yes. All right. Let's open it up. Yes, it opened. Looks like there's something in here. Well, what is it? A file? File screen. If you find any documents or notes during an escape, the information contained in them will be available on file screen. Press the, ma the right button to open the file screen. All right, let's see what's in this file. Hmm, digital root. Let's see here. Compute a digital root with the filing steps first. Add all numbers in question to another. If you end up with something greater than a single digit number, add the digits to one another. For instance, if you have a double digit number, add the number in the tens place to the numbers in the ones place. Keep adding digits in this number until you have a single digit answer. That final single digit is your digital root. EX, the digital root of 6, 7, 8 would be, so it would be, you would add 6 to 7 to 8. Yes. And then you would add the answer from that to 21 to 2, you know, 2 plus 1. Okay, awesome. Therefore, the digital root of 6, 7, 8 is 3. The digital root of 1, 2, 3, 4 would be, so 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4, and then 1 plus 0 is 1. Therefore, the digital root of 1, 2, 3, 4 is 1. I see. So I just keep adding numbers until I get a single digit number. Oh, looks like there's something on the back of this thing. A notebook, a pen, and a calculator. And a stack of key cards. Huh. And they have numbers on them. Looks like some key cards. There's numbers written on each card. 6, 7, 8. What does... Does that mean something? Hmm. It could. New material has been added to the file screen. Calculator. Press left to open the calculator screen. The calculator can also calculate a digital root, which will be important, which will be important in, to the progression of the story. Oh, cool. Nice. Okay. Ah, so you can just do that now. Awesome. Back. Nice. I'm sure I'll fuck that up somehow. So let's go over here. Let's open this. Um, let's go into items and let's check out the red. So last time I did, um, so I believe it goes, okay, I know what happens here. So it's going to be, um, seven. Four, seven, four, seven, four, eight, 
7483. No, okay. Got it wrong. All right, let's. Oh, I keep clicking out. All right, so did I get that right? Let's see. Maybe um, I go. Maybe I did it the wrong way this time. So maybe it's eight. But that's why. Yeah, it's. I did it wrong. I was. That's supposed to be a blank five. So it should be seven, four, eight, five. Seven, four, eight, five. There you go. I did it. I'm so smart. Yes, I unlocked it. Now, funny thing is, I actually did a escape room. And my mom, who took me for my birthday, uh, along with my her husband and my wife, she we got to the last puzzle, but she put in the key to the last padlock wrong and didn't use the key correct. So we thought we were missing something. A stack of red key cards. These look like key cards. There's a number on each one. One, two, three. Okay. Um, do I use this? I guess we're going to go to the door here. Oh, uh, wait a minute. What kind of key cards do we have? Do we have all the key cards? So one, two, three. Oh, okay. So let's go back. Let's go here. Um, let's uh, go to... I'm going to guess it's going to be this. These cards with numbers on them. I'm pretty sure this is where I'm supposed to use them. All right, let's slide all of these cards and see if they work. And... Huh? It's not working. Why? Damn it. No, that's not right. I still have cards I haven't used. Damn it. Not again. There aren't any more cards in here. I've only got one other hint. Of course, the files. The files something I've said about a digital root. The digital root, huh? What am I supposed to do with... There's a 5 on that door. Do I have to get a digital root of 5? I'm not really sure about this. Uh, whatever. It's worth a shot. Let's see if this works. I'll slide the cards that gave me... that give me the digital root of 5 through the reader. Operating instructions. Click three cards to select them. The digital root of the selected cards will be displayed. Clicking reset, uh, reset will deselect, deselect all currently selected cards. After you've selected three cards, click on the device. Okay. So, um... No, it's wrong. No, it's wrong, so... Uh, okay. I'm bad at this. All right, so two and three do that. So one, six, eight, no. One, three, eight, no. There you go, oh, no, no. So would it have to be an odd number in order to get five? No. I hate this shit. So one plus two plus three. So one plus two plus three. So one plus, so it's six. So what about one? Yeah, that's a pain in the dick. So six plus two is eight. Nine, ten, eleven. So that, okay, that would equal two. So one plus three is four. 4 plus 8, that's 12. 1 plus 2 is 3. Okay, so 2 plus 6 is 8. 9, 10, 11, so that's only 2. This is a pain in my butt. 6, 7, 8, so 6 plus 7, um, that's 13. So it's 21, so 2 plus 1 is 3. What about seven, eight? So that would be seven. Uh, that's that's um, fifteen. 
15. So 16, no, 15. How about 15? So it's 15, 16, 17. So one no. So it has to be, what about 3 plus 6 is 9? Uh, 10, no. 3 plus 6. 3 plus 6. That's 9. So what if you do... Alright, no. That's not right. So, 3 plus 7 plus 8. No. This is... I, I can't stand number puzzles, to be honest with you. I can't stand number puzzles. No. I can't stand this shit. So, wait a minute. So what if you did 2, 6, 3? No. 2, 3, 1? No. So 2 plus... That's 8. I hate this shit. Oh my god, I'm so bad at math. There you go. Alright, I think this is gonna work. There we go. That's a new noise. Huh? All the doors in this game are like this, and I can't stand it. Did it just unlock? Well, that light was red, and now it's blue. I'm blue, grab it, be dee dee da. No doubt about it. There's nothing keeping me in here now. Time to go. However, the boat is, um, I would think, sinking still? You found it. And I didn't have to cheat at all. Wow. Whoa. Ah, oh, we got a leak in the roof. Ow. Ah, my head. Wait, is it over? Phew. That felt too much like being flushed down a toilet. Damn. Uh, well, better than drowning, I guess. Well, you're going to drown soon if you don't find a way out. Unless they have bulkheads. Am I in a hallway? Oh. A door. Another door. I hate doors. Damn, this water. Let me go. I don't think it'll listen to you. Yes, it opened. Whoa. What the hell? This is the inside of a ship? Well? That's what I thought. Well, you'd think the, sea, the salt water would give it away as well. This is totally a... Wait, what the hell? A wave? This is the vision of a tampon. <laughs> Shit, I gotta get out of here. Sea deck. Pants, pants, pants. B deck. Hurry. The deck's A deck's next. Oh, hello, baby. I'd like to give you my D deck. What? People. A lot of people. Um... I guess there's no other... There's there's another one of us now. Uh, a dancer? No, I'm not. You better get moving. Well, okay then. Silver hair? Eh. <laughs> one of us, huh? What? Nothing. What a douche. Going up won't do you any good. There are two doors, but neither of them will open. Hold on, the doors won't open? Come on, aren't you coming? You gotta hurry. All right, Freckles. The nine of us then. All the cards are in hand. I'll never remember these voices I'm doing. Wait, they're gone. Just what is going on? There's an old man like a lion, a girl with pink hair, and a prince, and I have no idea what they're talking about. <laughs> um... <laughs> he? Huh? What was that all about? Hey, what the hell are you just standing there for? Didn't you hear him? No, I didn't. The doors on A deck are no good. We gotta check the doors on B deck. Got it? Now go. Whoa. Maybe it's because they didn't have the correct cards like I do. Hey man, that was dangerous. Huh? Hmm. 
four. And this one says five. We're going to be taking uh, doors five. They're the same. The room I woke up in it, in it, uh, in had a number on the door, just like that. You too, eh? My cell was the same. A number upon the door. I opened it and ran down the hallway outside, and found myself in a rather grand room full of stairs. I suspect did the rest of you. Me too. Same for me. There was a door with a number on it. Yeah, we all say the same thing. That's not important. We need to hurry. Yeah, I don't think... I don't know that lady. You think I don't know that lady? Sorry. <laughs> Open, damn it! I don't think pulling on it's gonna work. Fuck, it's not opening. This damn thing won't even budge. Out of my way. Oh, the mountain. He's gonna shit himself. Better watch it. Huh? I body slammed from that guy. Uh, that um, From a guy that big didn't even budget. There must be some other way. I'm guessing the card reader's here. This looks like the device next to the door in that room earlier. So that means this door is probably locked too. But still... Gah! Damn it! Are there any other doors? He had scarcely taken a step when... At the top of the stairs, next to ornate clock, embedded in the wall, he saw a person. Hello, baby. It was a girl. She looked to be the same age as Junpei. He froze, unable to look away from her face. He wasn't confounded by her beauty or something equally silly. No, there was another reason he couldn't take his eyes off the girl. Junpei had seen her somewhere before. He couldn't quite remember where, but he knew he would knew he'd met her before. The girl, too, stared at Junpei. Junpei, Junpei, whatever, similarly stunned. Her face... Her response suggested she'd seen him before as well. Hmm. Without saying a word, Junpei walked slowly toward her. She didn't move. It was almost as if though she was held in place by some sort of magical spell. As Junpei stepped onto her landing, the spell broke. No sooner had he set his foot down than the whole ship shook for a second time. Ah! <laughs> The quake caught the girl unprepared, and she fell. Watch out! Moving on instinct, Junpei leapt to catch her. Or so he thought. And they went tumbling down the stairs. Oh! Her face was far closer than it should have been, mere inches from his own. How come this always happens to anime protagonists? He was flat on his back, and she had landed squarely on top of him. The girl seemed as confused as he did, and her face suggested that she still hadn't fully recovered from seeing him. Now, I don't know much about this game, and in fact the playthrough that I did before did not reveal much to me, but I have a feeling, a sneaking suspicion, that she is the one that brought everyone on board. For a moment that seemed to, uh, to stretch for a very long time, they stared at one another, but please, if you do know, no spoilers. The ship stops shaking. Everything was quiet. Water could be heard from the bottom of the ship, lapping faintly at the walls and ceiling. But eventually, that faded as well. The silence was complete. A thick, muffling blanket. At last, the girl opened her mouth. Oh my gosh, is that you, Jumpy? Jumpy. Jumpy. Her words echoed through Junpei's head, and suddenly his memory returned. A, a, a cane? No, I'm a girl, not a cane. Why hadn't he realized it before? The girl was a cane, Kurashiki. She and Junpei had been friends in childhood. They have gone to elementary school together for six years. But what, what was she doing on the ship? Her soft eyes were only inches away from his own. 
He could feel the warmth of her face. Feelings he'd thought long forgotten began to work their way to the surface and in his pants. I've got a mantis in my pantis. <sighs> he could feel his face heating up at that moment. Welcome aboard. I welcome you all from the bottom of my heart to this, my vessel. I guess maybe I should do like a muffled sound. What? What's that voice? I am Zero, the captain of this ship. I'm also the person who invited you here. This is... The guy in the gas mask. Hey, asshole. What the hell is this? Come on out here. I want to get a look at you. I think this is all pre-recorded. What do you mean to do, it, do to us? I mean to have you participate in a game. Some of you, I know, are familiar with this game. What does he mean by that? The non-narry game. It is a game where you will put your life on the line. Now you're just repeating yourself, dude. Non-narry game. What the hell is that? The rules of the non-narry game can be found upon your persons. They are simple rules. Read them. What is he talking about? Hey, there's something in my pocket. Check this out. Hey, I've got one too. Then it would seem Zero has seen it fit to grace us each with a letter. Would you mind terribly reading it to us, young man? On this ship, you will find a handful of doors emblazoned with numbers. We will call them the numbered doors. The doors in front of you are a pair of the, of the same. The key to opening these numbered doors are the numbered bracelets that each of you possesses. Should you total the numbers on your numbered bracelets and find that the digital root of that number is equal to the number of the, that door, the door will open. Only those who have opened the door may pass through. There are, however, limits. The only three to five people can pass through one numbered door. All those who enter must leave and all those who enter must contribute. So this thing on my arm is a bracelet. The purpose of the game is simple. Leave this ship alive. It is hidden, but an exit can be found. Seek a way out. Seek a door that carries a nine. There is one last thing I must tell you. As you have no doubt surmised, the ship has begun to sink. On April 14th, 1912, the famous ocean liner Titanic... Oh, sorry. Titanic crashed into an iceberg. After remaining afloat for two hours and forty minutes, it sank beneath the waters of North Atlantic. I will give you more time. Nine hours. That is the time you will be given to make your escape. Holy shit. Oh, no. I, I hear a bell. Yeah, those must be your breasts knocking together. I think it's coming from over by the stairs. It's the clock telling us the time. It rang nine times, so nine o'clock then. I think it's 9 p.m., I couldn't see anything when I tried to look out the window e earlier. It has to be nighttime. If that's the case, then we need to escape by 6 a.m. tomorrow. Now it's time. Let our game begin. I wish you all the best of luck. I'm skirt. I'm skirt. Hey, you bastard! What do you mean by that? Come out here, you asshole! That guy won't stop shouting. And the others? They've got nothing to say. <sighs> Phew. I have way too many questions. Who is Zero? What's 
the Nonary game. What is it for? Is he some kind of nut job doing this just to mess with us? Or does he have some other purpose? And why pick me to be part of this insane game? And the others? Why are there these eight people here? And the most confusing of them all, a cane. And why is a cane here? I haven't seen her since elementary school. Why her? Why now? Coincidence? No, there's no way. There has to be a reason. I don't know what exactly, but there has to be. Very well. Standing around here won't let do us any good. Best we get moving, don't you think? Get moving? Are you planning to open the numbered doors? Hey, wait! Don't tell me you're actually going to do what this, this zero says. No, no, that's not what I mean. I'm saying, let's find another way. After all, we haven't really examined this place yet. We what? Where we, where have we not looked? Everyone searched Haydeck already, right? Yeah, we were kind of in a rush though, so we probably missed some things. Why don't we check out the lower floors first? Well, aren't they all flooded? We should see how deep this place goes. I can work with that. Then let's go. Sea deck. Whoa! What the hell? It's completely submerged. Damn. If the water level keeps rising like this, we're all gonna go dead. Go. Bleh. We're all gonna drown. He was just, you know, emulating drowning. <laughs> no, I don't believe that's something we have to worry about. See, the water's not flowing. That means the origin of the water has been stopped. Perhaps this zero fellow has used some sort of remote control to seal a water tight, tight door down, uh, lower down. He said that our time limit was nine hours. In other words, this water won't rise for nine hours. Then you're saying we won't sink till then? Well, that might be a little too optimistic. No point in wishful thinking. <laughs> That's depressing. If we don't determine a way to advance from this point, we are stuck on A deck and C deck. Looks that way. Hey, hold on. How about we check C deck before we jump to any conclusions? He looks like a Naruto character. We might find something there. You're right. I think we should look at the metal doors by the big staircase, too. They're pretty suspicious. Mm. No number on on either door. And I don't see any authentication device either. Nope, it's locked. This one too, damn. None of these doors are opening. Hey guys, over here, there's another door behind the stairs. This one doesn't open either. We'll see about that. Hey old man, give me a hand. Using force, I see. Let's give it a try. Pants, pants, shorts. It won't budge. Could you just not, could you not just start shouting out of nowhere? You almost gave me a heart attack, you know. Oh, sorry. I was sort of trying to save our lives. It doesn't appear to have moved even with two of us trying. Very well made. Idiots, try using your brain first. Huh? Take a closer look. Yeah, there's a keyhole. A keyhole? Right, it's obvious that what we need to open this door. Well, sometimes it's kicking the door down works. A key, huh? You got a problem? No. I really doubt we'll find a key that easily. What's this? There's a mark on it. Does it mean something? It looks like an eyeball. Hey, look, over here too. Hmm. More doors. I think they're elevators. There's an inverted triangle button by them. May as well try pressing it. 
nothing. Maybe the power isn't on? Or we need to do something with this car re card reader. There's a strange mark here too. What is this? It looks like a lowercase h with the dash drawn across the upper stem of the H. This is the symbol of Saturn. It's an astro astrological symbol. Then, the mark on the door, the, on the other door. I think that was the sun symbol. Oh, she sure knows a lot about this. We saw the same symbols on A-deck. We did? I don't remember that. Hey, Deck, huh? I haven't been there, so I wouldn't know. We may as well check again, since we're talking about it. However, that will have to wait until next time. Will we make it out of live? Who is this Zero character? Am I the hero? Am I going to go from Zero to Hero? Who knows? What's behind the number doors? What's on A Deck? There's so many questions. But make sure you. Have a good night, and like, subscribe, and comment, because it makes me feel good. Have a good night. Good night.